Do you have a lot of plants in your home? Or maybe you only have one that's really, really important to you. Well, eventually your plants will grow and get big. So you have to cut them down. Well, never ever throw away that cutting because you can create a new plant from that. But know that cutting your plants is actually a good thing. It doesn't hurt them. It actually triggers them to grow more, to become fuller and thrive. So this is what you need to create a cutting from almost any type of indoor tropical plant. Number one, clean water. Now, if you live somewhere in the world that, where you know that your tap water is clean, then you can use that. Otherwise, use bottled water, rainwater, or even filtered water. Make sure to exchange the water as often as possible, but at least once a week. Number two, you need something to put your cutting in. Now that can be a glass of any type. It can be a vase, it can be a mug, it can be a waterproof pot. It really doesn't matter. The most important thing is that you use something that is waterproof. Number three, you also need a cutting. So what is a cutting? Well, it's basically the part of the plant that you have cut off from the mother plant. And what you need to create a new plant is at least one node that is underwater and one leaf that is above water. So what is a node? Well, a node is actually on the stem or branch where you have a leaf or a branch that is coming out from the stem. This is a node here. So you need one of these nodes that is going to be underwater and you need one node with a leaf that is above water. Always use a scissor or shearer that is sharp and that is cleaned so that you're not transferring any bacteria or fungus to your plant. Just go in and take off the cutting. So in this case here, I want to make a cutting of this because it's been growing too long and it's soon to be perhaps falling down. So I'll take off this part here and I'll put at least one node underwater. So I'll probably choose this one here because I think it's a good way of making the cut somewhere around here. Now, so just make the cut. You make the cut at least one centimeter above the node that is still left on the mother plant. The reason for that is that this hair can start to die off a little bit. So if you make it too close to the node, the node could also die. So this is the cutting I will be using. Now, as we said before, we need to have at least one node underwater. It will be this one. So I'll take away the leaves here, like that. This is also where the roots are going to come in the water. It's from that node. Potentially, I could also use this node underwater, but I think that will be quite a lot of water in, in the glass here. So I'll just use one node for this. Now, as I said, you need at least one leaf above water. In this case, there will be more than one leaf. Never put too many leaves above water. Because if you have a lot of leaves, it will take quite a lot of energy for the cutting to make sure that those leaves are alive. And it will not focus on producing new roots. So if you have big leaves or many, many leaves on the cutting, take those off and just use one or up to maybe five, six or seven, depending on the size. But this cutting is actually fine. It will be perfect. I do not want to take off the top here because this will also trigger the plant to start to create a new branch from here. I don't want that. I want all of the energy to go to creating new roots. Number four. So now you place the cutting in water and you just choose any type of a water container 
that is fine for this type of cutting. Now I think the best one I have here is probably this glass vase here because it can support no it cannot support well yes it can support the cutting inside of it so I'll just add water make sure that the node that you want underwater is underwater then you place this somewhere where it gets a lot of light but indirect sunlight you do not want direct sunlight to hit this plant because that will stress this cutting it needs light but indirect sunlight now it's just a waiting game some cuttings can take a few days before they grow roots some cut cuttings can take months before they grow roots so have patience as long as the cutting is looking fine everything is good just have patience so when the roots have grown to somewhere in between five centimeters or two inches up to 10 centimeters or four inches then it's time to put the cutting into soil so when the roots are showing you and looking something like this you know that it's time to plant this and when you've planted this into soil you now have a new plant so now we'll just do these steps to a couple of other plants so that you can see that this will apply to most indoor tropical plants this is a dracaena cinto that is starting to become a little bit too large so we'll take a cutting and make a new plant of that On Dracaenas you actually have a lot of nodes everywhere from where there was a leaf coming out of it is a node so when I put this in water I'll actually have maybe one two three four five or six nodes underwater you need at least one Next up we have the pothos. I have one here that's been growing quite a lot and is becoming extremely long. By cutting this it will actually push out new branches and become fuller. So from this long vine here will actually make a lot of cuttings like i said before one node underwater one leaf above water So from this vine we actually got four cuttings that we'll put into water as well. It's usually not a problem to have cuttings from different plants in the same vase. Doesn't really matter. Next up we have 
Skindapsus aureus here. We'll make a cutting of that as well. This is the Hueflera arboricola, also known as the umbrella plant. We'll make a cutting out of this one here that's become a little bit too large. This will also push the plant to become wider. If you enjoy videos like this, make sure to check out our channel and watch our videos because we have lots of them with content like this. Here we have one, two, three, four, maybe seven nodes underwater. Now you could also take your cutting and put it directly into soil. However, we call this the easiest way because you have a higher success rate. If you put it directly into soil, you need to first get a good potting medium, good soil, and then you have to make sure that that soil is wet, but not too wet, not enough moisture. This is just easier. Now, if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to our channel as well to get more content. Follow us on Facebook and Instagram where you can get sneak previews on upcoming videos and sometimes a little bit more. Now, until next time, I don't.